Welcome to the next episode of the Microbiology Tube. So today we are learning about the indole test. Indole test is one of the biochemical tests that is used to identify the microorganisms. So in this test, we are going to know whether the bacteria can produce enzymes named as the tryptophanes enzymes. So actually what medium we used uh, for this indole test? For the indole test, we use the medium called the SIM medium. So this is one of the very popular medium for the indole test where the S stands for the sulfur productions, I stands for the indole test and M stands for the motility test. So sulfur, indole and motility. So what actually here is in the medium, so this is the biochemical test we perform in the test tubes. So in the test tube, there is a enzyme called sorry amino acid called the tryptophan so this is the amino acids so be careful this is the amino acid and this is the enzyme so tryptophan is the amino acid this is the amino acid and tryptophanase is the enzyme so what actually we do we are going to know whether the bacteria can produce the tryptophanase enzymes so what actually the tryptophanase enzymes will do this tryptophanase enzyme will convert the tryptophan into the indole so this tryptophanase enzymes will convert the tryptophan into the indole so according to this this test is known as the indole test so first what we do suppose we take a biochemical uh, medium sim medium and what we do we stab the microorganisms and what actually happens here we stab the microorganisms so after about 18 to 24 hours of incubation so what happened if the organism is able to produce the tryptophanase enzymes so what can it will do it will convert the tryptophan into the into the tryptophanase so it will convert the tryptophan into the tryptophan is in sorry it, it will convert the tryptophan into the indole in the presence of the enzyme tryptophan is in the presence of the enzyme tryptophan is so so if the bacteria is unable to produce the tryptophan is enzymes the tryptophan won't be converted into the indole but in the medium so the in so the tryptophan is converted into the indole so how can we know whether there is a production of indole or not so here in, in the in the reaction you can see the indole is converted into the sorry the tryptophan is converted into the indole so how can we know whether there is a indole or not so to detect whether there is a indole or not we use a reagent called the covax reagent so what happens the covax reagent contains the para diamine dimethyl amino benzaldehyde so in the in com combining this indole and the para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde red rose indole dye is formed which is red in color so the presence of red in color in the surface of alcohol layer of the broth indicates the indole positive for example so if there is the indole production so if we add the covax reagent two to three drops of the covax reagent so what happens there there is a formation of the red ring cherry ripe red ring is formed in the top of the tube so this confirms the indole positive so this confirms the indole positive so what we can suggest is if the organisms is able to produce the tryptophanase enzyme then these are the indole positive microorganisms i repeat those organisms which are able to produce the tryptophanase enzymes are the indole positive uh, microorganisms or the bacteria so what are some of the common examples of the indole positive bacteria one of the very common examples of the indole positive bacteria is the escherichia coli so we call it equally so next is the capsella oxytoca remember capsella oxytoca is the indole positive bacteria whereas the capsella pneumonia is the indole negative bacteria so there are some of the common species such as the protease species which are also the indole positive uh, bacteria so here are some of the common uh, so common examples of the indole uh, positive bacteria so if you really like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share the video thank you